I'm here with Tony Tanner, who is the proprietor of The Butcher and Grocer down here in Grandview Heights. And I'm just going to interview Tony and ask him a couple questions. So we opened uh, July 5th, two years ago. And the basic reason is because I wanted to find good natural food for my family. The specific reason is a friend of mine died of lung cancer and he was believed that the part of the reason why he got the cancer was because of the animal proteins that he was eating. So after doing some research, I realized that there really wasn't a place in Columbus to get Ohio raised beef, lamb, pork, and chicken on a regular basis. So I just decided to open a butcher shop. Grandview's been a great place for us to open the shop. Um, it's been very well received by the folks in Grandview specifically, but really the whole Central Ohio area is starting to find us and come in. We're getting people from Dublin and Powell, Circleville. We've got a couple that came up from Parkersburg the other day to check us out. So we started out just literally a retail butcher shop. Um, and what we ended up finding out is that people had told us that you're going to run into a situation where you have these surpluses. So we started just going out to restaurants and talking to them about what we're doing um, and through different connections and uh, networking we kind of built a little bit of a wholesale business and now we're state inspected and uh, we're in about 12 different restaurants now so you can uh, eat out and get our meat or you can take it home and, and do just the same now our, our big plan is to get a production facility built so that we can bring in more animals support more farmers and get more product out into the marketplace um, we're kind of uh, tight for space in here we're only about 1700 square feet um, once we do that, then we should be able to look at opening another retail place uh, spot somewhere in the city. But right now we're already working with the Trolley Barn on the east side, uh, be more of like a North Market style concept. So um, we're really excited about that one. Uh, we do about 300 pounds of sausage out of the shop a week. Um, and that's just in the retail. The wholesale is a whole nother ball game. So we're now working with seven different pig farmers, we're working three different or two different beef farmers, and uh, a chicken farmer down in Athens. We do everything fresh, so we do our own spice blends. We buy our spices from the North Market in bulk, put those together to our recipe, and then make our sausages that way. Reputation among other farmers is a big thing for us. Um, and if one one farmer says that this farmer is not good, we'll, we'll just ask them, say, hey, he says you're doing this, and then they prove him wrong or they prove him right, and then we make our decision that way. But humanely treated, fed the right diet, eating what they're supposed to be eating. Um, animals shouldn't be eating animals. And um, so like our chicken is 100% pastured, never sees indoors. Uh, beef, lamb, pork, and chicken are all, all on pasture. They all do get some grain, um, but it's not the main source of their diet. So. Um, we feel like we're putting a really good product in the marketplace. Non-GMO is a real big thing with us. You really, really, really do know as soon as you walk onto a farm whether or not it's being done right or not.